Hello and welcome to Pots and Trowels and in this week's video we're going to be planting some bulbs in pots giving you the gardening equivalent of making a lasagna and we're also going to be protecting plants from winter wet. Well, as promised, lasagna, but don't get too excited. It's not the type you're thinking it is. This is a lasagna in a plant pot. It's using spring flowering bulbs. And this has come about because of Tim and Pam, who live in Sheffield, they're regular viewers of Pots and Trowels. And they've been in touch to ask if there's still time to put bulbs in pots. And yes, there is. You know, here we are getting towards the end of October, still time to plant them. So we're going to plant them in layers to extend the flowering period next spring. And I'm going to use three different types in here. I'm going to use tulips. Now when we planted bulbs a few weeks ago in the garden you remember I said to hold back on planting tulips until November. There's still bags of time for tulips but I'm going to put them in this pot now but if you're going to put them in the garden wait a few more weeks. We're going to put in some daffodils in there as well which will flower uh, in April and then we've got some little iris reticulata so three different types of bulbs. Bulbs hate to be wet, so when they're in a pot, you must have good drainage. So only use a pot with drainage holes in. And what I'm gonna do is to put some crocs in over the holes, just to stop the compost from getting really wet and soggy. So I'm just covering all the drainage holes over like that. And then I can start to add the compost. Now I'm using a bulb compost. You could use a multi-purpose, but they can get a bit wet and soggy. This is a bulb compost uh, that's made from bracken, composted bracken that's gathered up in Cumbria, the Lake District, um, and it's composted, it's naturally rich in minerals, and it will actually feed the bulbs for about two seasons if we leave them in the pot. So there we can see there's a layer of compost down in the base of the pot there. And onto that, I'm gonna put the tulips. Um, this is a lovely sort of mauve colored tulip, and I'm gonna put about a dozen bulbs in there, and we can put them fairly close together but we don't want them to be touching. We're just gonna space those onto the compost. So there's a nice layer of tulip bulbs in there. So we're gonna cover them over. So that's one layer of our lasagna. And then we're gonna cover those over until they disappear. And then we can put our second layer of bulbs in. So I'm about two thirds full now with compost. And for this one, I'm using a daffodil. This is a daffodil that will grow uh, and flower in April time and it's a, a, a lovely variety, a sort of a semi-double type pale one called Winston Churchill and they're gonna go around the edge of the pot. Now don't worry that we've got tulips below, as they start to grow they will naturally find a way in between the daffodils so they will grow perfectly naturally and be fine. So as you can see I've got a nice layer of them in there. Again not quite touching but we want plenty in there. We want lots of colour, lots of impact. And then another layer of lasagna. This is the cheese sauce right? This is the cheese sauce Sean that's right. Then we'll break for some lunch. So I'm going to put more compost in and then finally, I'm gonna use some iris reticulata. This is a dwarf spring flowering iris. These flower in March time. Lovely blue flowers these are, quite a dark blue this one is. This is Harmony I think I've got in this one, but they're all different colors, light blues, dark blues, whites, yellows. And I'm just gonna put my layer, make sure you get them the right way, pointy bit up with bulbs. If in doubt, that's where the old root was there. So that's the bit that goes down. Put those there. And then finally, one more layer of compost to cover them over. So in there, we've got tulips, daffodils, and irises. And they will flower in the order of the irises will flower first, and they will get to about six inches tall. They will flower in March. As soon as they've finished flowering, the daffodils, the Winston Churchill will come through. They'll flower at about 10 to 12 inches in April and then when they finish the tulips will flower at about 14 inches with their lovely mauve flower. So we're going to have three months of colour in there next spring. So what we do now, give that water, put that somewhere outside sheltered and then just wait for the bulbs to start growing.
What I'm going to do now is on the little patio area, I've got some agapanthus that have been really good through the summer. And these stay outside for quite a while unless it's really cold. These are herbaceous ones, so they're going to die down. So what I'm going to do is take the flowers off, but what they don't want to be is too wet over the winter. So this is a lovely sheltered spot, gets a lot of sun, so they're going to be fine. But just to make sure they don't get too wet, what I've done is I've lifted the pots up on little feet. So you can buy special pot feet, but I mean, so I just use little blocks of wood like that, put them on the floor so that it raises the pot about half an inch, an inch off the ground. So when I put the pot back down, we've got a gap underneath so the water can drain out through the drainage holes so that as the water drains, it can escape so the roots aren't sitting in wet, soggy compost and rotting through the winter months. Well, that's all for this week, but I couldn't resist a sneaky look at these lovely Hesperantha. It used to be called Shizo Stylus, and this is a cultivar called Pink Princess. Absolutely beautiful, starts to flower in September and goes on well into December, even in my North Yorkshire garden. So well worth growing for that late autumn and winter colour. Thank you, of course, to Cobra for their continued support, and hopefully we'll see you again next week.